population start with a perceived danger of planes fall out of the sky or food causes botulism. Yes. I don't think the average person yes. playing with AI on his iPhone perceives any danger. Can you just roughly explain what you think the dangers might be? Yeah, so the, 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 the danger, uh, really, AI is um, perhaps uh, more dangerous than, say, mismanaged uh, aircraft design or production maintenance or, or, or bad car production uh, in the sense that it is, it has the potential, uh, how a small one may regard that probability, but it is non-trivial. It has the potential of a civilizational destruction. Um, you know, uh, there's movies like Terminator, but I, it wouldn't quite happen like Terminator um, because the, the intelligence would be in the data centers. Right. Uh, the robot's just the end effector. Um, but I think perhaps uh, what you may be alluding to here is that um, regulations are really only put into effect after something terrible has happened. That's correct. And if um, if that's the case for AI, and we only put in regulations after something terrible has happened, it may be too late to actually put the regulations in place. The AI may be in control at that point. You think that's real? It is. It is conceivable that AI could take control and reach a point where you couldn't turn it off and it would be making making decisions for people. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, it's, that's, the, that's definitely the, where things are headed, uh, for sure. Uh, I mean, um, the, the, the things like, like say, uh, ChatGPT, which is uh, based on GPT-4 from OpenAI, which right. is a company that I uh, played a, uh, a critical role in, in creating, unfortunately. Uh, Back when it was a nonprofit. Yes. Um, I mean, the, 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 the reason uh, OpenAI exists at all is that um, Larry Page and I used to be close friends, and I would yes. stay at his house in Palo Alto, and I would talk to him late into the night about uh, AI safety. And at least my perception was that Larry was not taking uh, AI safety uh, seriously enough. Um, and um, What did he say about it? Uh, he... he he really seemed to be um, what it once, once sort of a digital super intelligence, basically digital god, if you will, uh, uh, as soon as possible. Um, he wanted that. Yes, um, and uh, he's, he's made many public statements over the years uh, that that the whole goal of Google is uh, what's called AGI, artificial general intelligence, or artificial super intelligence. Um, and um, you know, and I, and I agree with him that the, there's great potential for good, um, but there's also potential for bad. And so, if if you've got some um, radical new technology, you want to try to take a set of actions that maximize probably it, it will do good, and minimize probably it will do bad things. Yes. Um, it, it can't just be helpful leather and just go, you know, barreling forward and you know hope for the best. Um, and then at one point. Uh, I said, well, what about, you know, who we're going to make sure humanity is okay here? Um, <laughs> and, 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 um, uh, and then he called me a specious. Uh, <laughs> did, he use, did he use that term? Yes. And there were witnesses. That I, I was the only one there when he called me a specious. And so I was like, okay, that's it. Uh, I've, yes, I'm a specious. Okay. You got me. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm fully suspicious. Um, busted. Um, <laughs> so um, that was his last role. Um, at the time, uh, Google uh, had acquired DeepMind, and so Google and DeepMind together had about three quarters of all the uh, AI talent in the world. They obviously had a uh, tremendous amount of money and uh, more computers than anyone else. So I'm like, okay, we're, we're about unipolar world here, where there's just one one company that it has close to a monopoly on uh, AI talent and, uh, and, and computers, uh, like so scale computing. And the person who's in, in charge doesn't seem to care about safety. This is not good. So, uh, so then I thought, okay, what's, the, what's, what's the, the furthest thing from Google would be like a nonprofit uh, that is fully open because Google was closed uh, for profit. Uh, so that's why the open and open AI refers to open source uh, you know, transparency so people know what's going on. Yes. Um, and and that it, it, we don't want it to have like a, a, I mean, while I'm normally in favor of for profit, we don't want this to be sort of a profit maximizing, 
a of demon course. from hell. That's you know? right. <laughs> that just never stops. Right. <laughs> so, um, so that's how I open it with, with, with. So you want specious incentives here? Incentives that yes, like, I think we want man. we want pro-human. Yeah. The spike of the future good for the humans. Yes. Yes. Because we're humans. Right. And also the other creatures on Earth too. Uh, but but uh, you know. We've got to, I think, you know, like, I, th I think people sometimes take the fact that, like, we're here on Earth for granted, you know, and that this uh, consciousness is just a, th you know, a normal thing that happens. But to the best of my knowledge, we see no evidence of uh, conscious uh, life anywhere, uh, anywhere in the universe. So it, it might be there. Um, you know, physics, of course, sort of the, the Fermi paradox, after when Enrico Fermi is amazing physicist uh, asked the fundamental question where are the aliens yeah um a lot of people ask me you know <laughs> um where are the aliens and i i, I think if, if anyone would know about aliens on earth it would probably be me I would um, think. yeah i'm like you know very familiar with space stuff um and i've seen no evidence of aliens so i would i would immediately tweet you know tweet it out this is split second and be like that would be like well time Probably the top tweet of all time. <laughs> that one, guys. <laughs> it's a jackpot. <laughs> it's some eight billion likes. You know, um, ne next level jackpot if you find the, the aliens. Like I don't think they're keeping this under, you know. And it was like some um, uh, general, I think, in the sixties, who, who, who was saying like, Sh "Show us the aliens, like Area Fifty One, etc." And he said, "Like, listen, we are constantly trying to get the defense budget to uh, expand." And uh, like, you know what would really get uh, no arguments for anyone? Uh, if we pull out an alien <laughs> and said, we need money to protect ourselves from these guys. <laughs> you know how much money do you want? You got it. <laughs> they look dangerous. 